Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Summer NAMM 2017 in Nashville talking to Ben Hines from Dwarfcraft, also one of our illustrious, illustrious authors for State of the Stomp in our magazine and online. Um, ben, how are you doing, man? I'm doing very well. Uh, it's been a great show. Had a lot of good days and nights. So, Sweet. yeah. Let's hear more about the nights later, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys have a new pedal, The Curse, analog delay? or yeah, Okay. Uh, and it's the green thing over here. We want to tell us the gist of it and what's up with all the little jacks and stuff. Okay, so basically it's just uh, an analog delay like I always wanted it, um, which is big knobs and a lot of extra features, basically. So we've got the standard delay time, mix, feedback, and then over here is um, modulation time, modulation depth and then a, a skew control for the waveform so you can get that a little asymmetrical. Um, then we got tap tempo, uh, tap tempo multiplier here. Um, for like no divisions. Yeah, yeah. Subdivision. Exactly. And then we've got CV inputs for tap tempo and the uh, uh, modulation input. And then on the opposite side here is just output of the tap tempo pulse and the modulation waveform. So you can make that talk to all sorts of uh, other gear. Interesting. Okay, so now the two sides work together. It's not like switching between modulation or delay. They are always, if it's on, they're both on, but you could yeah. like dial them. Right. The, the modulation, uh, actually, it's like automating the delay time knob. So you can use that for, you know, subtle shifts uh, or like a vibrato or chorus. But yeah, it's always acting on the on the delay line. Okay. So when we came into the video, how did you have it set? Um, just kind of my favorite setting, which is a sine wave on the modulation. Um, not very deep, so it just sort of warbles the tone uh, as it goes. And I, I had it set on a pretty quick delay. How much delay time does it have? 666 milliseconds. Oh, that's right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's kind of a, maybe it's the first uh, Dwarfcraft device that is for everybody, but we had to get a little evil with it anyway. The first one that's officially possessed by the devil. <laughs> yes, officially. What, why don't you call it the Damien or something? Well, there's a story there. Uh, our pedal called The Happiness, I named it real early on, and then it was about a year and a half of misery getting it to work right. So I thought if we called this analog delay something inherently evil, then it would go really quickly and easily, but it turns out it just takes a long time to make good stuff. Uh, it turns out it doesn't have to do with superstition no. or uh, supernatural powers from... <laughs> All right, let's hear some other sounds. Okay, cool. Um, gonna tweak for us? Um, I'll just do a little deeper modulation and a longer delay time so we can hear that, uh, I don't know, oceanic. Okay, cool. We also have a, a random waveform on the modulation. So if is that what the top toggle is? Yeah. Is that this, the waveform selector? Yep. So it goes random, square, and sine. Um, and the random was actually a customer request. Uh, but I, I really like the idea because you can dial that in really softly. Um, and since it's random, you'll just get really slight shifts in timing just to make things sound a little more uh, alive, I guess. And is it just randomly switching between square and sine, or is it like putting a saw to the Oh, oh like it's, a, it's a random value. 
uh, for the for the change. So it could be doing things weirder, harder, harsher things like sawtooth or whatever. It's not just going between the two others. Well, it's it's like a random delay time that it that it chooses. Okay. As opposed to like like moving that delay time along the waveform, it just goes, you know, six 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 thirty three forty five ninety nine. Okay. What? <laughs> And of course, uh, we let the knobs turn pretty far so you can get extreme sounds as well. You gonna show us that? Sure, here's, here's a real heavy square wave modulation. Just really easy goes back to normal. I like the way you thumb those chords, man. Like oh. you borrow with your thumb. Thank you. Um, okay, so the little the mini jacks. I can't remember what he said. All of them do, but it sounded like you. Some of those are meant for connecting to other stuff, like make it even crazier sounding. Is that? Um, you can like if you ran something crazy into the to the control voltage input. What I've been doing lately is. Um, Taking the tempo from a happiness or twin stags yeah. and uh, running that into the curse, which I, I can just plug in right now. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here's the here's the, the happiness by itself. And now when we turn the curse on, it'll be synchronized. So that's one to one, and now I'll throw it up to two, and it'll be in time, but double time. And, it, and of course that works when the happiness is off because that's, that voltage is always going out. Oh, okay. Cool, so how much is the curse gonna go for? Not 666 bucks. Not 666, so. $66.60? .60. I wish. Um, that's about how much the circuit board costs. <laughs> um, uh, 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 it's gonna be around 450. Okay. Hopefully under 450. Is it available yet, or when do you think it'll be out? Pretty sure it's gonna be September. Okay. So we're, we're very close. Thanks for joining us, man. Why don't you tell everyone where to go to check out all your stuff online? All right. Number one, go to dwarfcraft.com. Number two, uh, at dwarfcraft on Twitter, dwarfcraft devices on Facebook. And, uh, you know, if you type dwarf CR into Google, you know, a lot of stuff will come up for you. I don't know if they should be looking for that kind of stuff, should they? <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, Sean Hitman from PremierGuitar.com with Ben Hines from Dwarfcraft. Thanks for joining us, guys.